In this classwork video, I am going to do number 28 from classwork 2.1. So uh, this is the lawnmower problem. So it says that a person pushes the lawnmower with 14 point, that is 14.5 kilograms at a constant speed. That is extremely important for the first part of our problem. Uh, with a force of 88 newtons directed along a handle with uh, an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal. Draw the free body diagram showing the forces acting on the mower. Okay, so I'll do that part first. Okay, again, this is number 28. So the free body diagram is going to look like this. So I have my lawn mower, which is 14.5 kilograms. Okay, I have a force going in this direction. Forces are vectors, so make sure you are always drawing arrows. 88 newtons and it has an angle of 45 degrees. Okay. Now also there is gravity acting on this thing and there is a normal force. Okay. And again because uh, we're pushing a lawnmower along some grass there's going to be some sort of like force that's going in this direction which is like the retarding force is actually the language they use in this problem it really is the uh, like frictional force. Okay, um, We could call this force force applied too. Okay, so that is the free body diagram. Then part B says calculate the horizontal retarding force. Okay, so I want to know this force. So really what I need to do to solve this problem is I need to, I need to know that because something is going at a constant speed or constant velocity that acceleration is zero. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that. So acceleration is zero. So that means the horizontal forces or the forces in the x direction or the sum of all the forces in the x direction have to equal zero. Okay, so I have the force retarding that is going this way and I also have a component of my applied force that is going in the x direction. Okay, so this is like F applied x. Okay, so if they are going to have a net of zero, that means they're going to be equivalent to one another. So the force retarding is actually equivalent to the force applied in the x direction. Okay, so then all we need to do is find this component. Okay, and I would do that by using cosine. So the cosine of 45 times the hypotenuse, so 88, will give me that force applied in the x direction. There's a little bit of a glare there. So 44, 5 cosine times 88, making sure my calculator is in uh, degrees and not radians. So I get 62.2 newtons. Okay. So if this is 62.2 newtons, then this has to be 62.2 newtons to the left. So the force retarding is equal to 62.2 newtons, and it's to the left. Okay? Now, part C. It says the normal force exerted on the, on the lawnmower. Okay? So in this case, we're going to be looking in the y direction, right? So if I have, I also have a force here, okay, so this is F applied in the Y direction. And it's the same as this because cosine and sine of 45 are exactly the same thing. So I could write F applied in the Y is equal to 62.2 newtons as well, okay? So remember that the normal force is... Uh, equal and opposite to how hard something is pushing into the surface. So, um, and again, my lawnmower is not accelerating up off the surface of the earth or crashing through the ground into the center of the earth. So I'm still going to have a, a case where I have zero acceleration in the y direction. And therefore, I'll have uh, a net force of zero. So all of the y's will have to be all the y's up have to be equal to the y's down. So in this case, I would say that the 
normal force would have to be equivalent, so the upward normal force would have to be equivalent to both the gravitational force down plus the force applied down in the y direction. Okay, so in order to calculate those, I already have force applied y here, okay, but I need to know what the force gravitational is. So remember that force gravitational is mass times acceleration due to gravity, okay, also known as the weight. So I would just have 14.5 times 10, so that gives me 145 newtons, okay. So now I just need to plug these two in. So I get my force normal is equal to 145 newtons plus 62.2 newtons for a total of plus 145, 207.2. So my force normal is equal to 207.2 newtons up. Okay, and then the last part of the problem. So the last part of the problem says the person, the force the person must exert on the lawnmower to now accelerate it from 1.5 meters per second, or from rest to 1.5 meters per second in two and a half seconds. Okay? So I'm going to sort of cover up this stuff here so we can still look at our free body diagram. Okay? Okay, so here's my free body diagram up here. So what we need to do is we need to figure out now I'm going to push a little bit stronger in this direction so that my force becomes stronger and this thing accelerates to the right. Okay? It says assume the same retarding force. So we're going to assume that this retarding force is still 62.2 newtons. Okay? So if we have, um, in order to solve this, we're going to use the sum of all forces equals mass times acceleration. We're not specifically told acceleration, but we're given the tools to solve it. Okay, so the first part of the problem is we want to find acceleration. And I know that my velocity initial would be zero because it says from rest. My velocity final would be 2.5 meters per second. And, oops, sorry, 1.5. And then the time is 2.5 seconds. Okay. So in order to use this to solve for acceleration, I use the change in velocity over time. So velocity final minus initial all over time will give me my acceleration. So I get 1.5 divided by 2.5, 0.6 meters per second squared. Okay? So now this is my acceleration, so it's going to go here. So now I just have to write the sum of all forces. Okay, so I have my force applied in the x direction minus my retarding force in the x direction is going to make the, my lawnmower mass accelerate at some rate. Okay, so let's plug in the information that we know. Okay, force applied in the x direction is going to help me find the actual force into the handle. The retarding force, they said, was the same, so it's 62.2 newtons, is equal to the mass, which is 14.5 kilograms, times acceleration, which is 0.6 meters per second squared. Okay, So all I need to do is solve for this. So 14.5 times 0.6 equals, and then I add 62.2 to get my force applied in the x direction is equal to 70.1 newtons. However, this doesn't answer our question. It says, what is the force applied into the handle? What is, how does the person have to push? So let me just redraw the free body diagram. Okay, right? We have this is the force applied. That's what we're really trying to find out, right? We know that the lawnmower, the lawnmower hasn't changed its shape, so it has a 45 degree angle here. And we have just calculated how much of this force needs to be in the x direction, which is 70.9 newtons. Okay? So now all I need to do is use a little trigonometry to solve for this. So I'm going to use cosine since I have the, the um, adjacent here. So the cosine of 45 is equal to 70.9 newtons over my hypotenuse, which I'm trying to find. Okay? So if I algebraically rearrange and I multiply by h over here, I get h is actually equal to 70.9 divided by the cosine of 45. So 
70.9 divided by cosine 40. Oops. Uh, with this calculator, I think I'm going to have to use a parentheses. 45 cosine parentheses. Enter. There we go. So about 100.3 newtons. So my applied force, my force applied into the handle would have to be about 100.3 newtons.